Is having good performance on a gaming laptop possible? Yes. In this video, I'm gonna build a full laptop setup like you see behind me, and I'm gonna test some games to show you guys what's possible. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The laptop we're building the gaming setup with is the Asus Tough Gaming F15, a powerful gaming laptop. It's equipped with a 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor and a NVIDIA RTX 4070. And it honestly has a good price to performance ratio. With these specs, it's about 1400 bucks brand new from Best Buy. Honestly, one of my favorite things about unboxing this was the actual unboxing experience itself. Just take a look for yourself. We got the laptop unboxed, let's start to build the setup. So to start the build, we need to mount the laptop on this laptop stand that I bought from Vivo. It's basically like a way to hold your laptop as a secondary screen, and it will make the setup look very clean. So now that this is mounted, all we have to do is basically put the laptop up here and kind of adjust it for then when we put the monitor, it'll look very clean and flush. So next up is this Vivo mount. It matches the laptop stand. It's just for a base mount instead. And this is gonna be for our main monitor. All right, cool. Let's move this guy over here and see. Monitor might be like right there. The laptop will be right there. And that actually should work. Now that we got both of the stands up, we got to mount the monitor. And the monitor choice is the Cori 24 inch. Now this right now on Prime Day, as of the time of recording, is $89. And this thing is an absolute unit of a monitor. So let's get it mounted. So with laptop setups, especially when you want to use it as a secondary screen, you want to make sure that this top bezel lines up with this top bezel. So I put this monitor mount a little too high, so we're going to adjust it to make sure it's level. Let's plug everything in. When you first plug in your laptop to a monitor, it's gonna duplicate the display. So it's gonna basically show this monitor and this monitor at the same time in the same thing. The way to change this, you wanna right click on your desktop, hit display settings, and then you're gonna see this little option right here. It says, okay, these displays. You're gonna click on it, and all you're gonna do is do extend these displays, and then hit keep changes, and voila. You have two individual screens now. So another thing to note is once you plug your monitor in and you do this, you also need to change the individual refresh rate for the main monitor. If you don't do this, you're gonna be stuck on 60 Hertz and you're not gonna know why. So to do this, all you have to do is be in the same spot you were at before. All you have to do is click identify and find out which one your monitor is. So this is one, so this is not the one I wanna go to. So you're gonna just select the other monitor. You're gonna scroll down to advanced display and then you're gonna choose a refresh right here. Mine is already set automatically, but sometimes it won't be and that's how you find it. Now that we got all of everything plugged in, it's time to do the peripherals. So let's start with the mouse pad. This is my own brand and company, Gutsy Aiden Mousepads. I know it's named after me, but I've been running this brand for about three years now. We've made a bunch of designs, and this one in particular is the Snow Swirl, which I'll unpackage in a minute. When you get the mouse pads, you get them in these bags now, which are new to the company, which we've been working on our packaging and everything, and uh, it looks pretty incredible. So let's unbox it and let's get it out on the desk. So yeah, this is the Snow Swirl. It's one of my favorites, so let's go ahead and roll it out on the desk. This one is $40 because it's a 36 by 18 size. And you can check all of these out on gutsyaden.com. So I appreciate you guys all supporting the channel and supporting the business. Love y'all. Next up is the keyboard. And I can't wait to use this because it's one of my favorite keyboards out on Amazon right now. The M87 Pro. Now this keyboard is one of the best budget option keyboards I could find. For an OLED screen in the top right, for the lube switches and also the stabilizer sound insane. And this all comes in at a package of $89.99 on Amazon and it is an amazing keyboard for what it's worth. So we're gonna use that in this setup. So my mouse's choice is the Viper Mini. Now this is a custom Viper Mini, but you can buy them on Amazon for $30 or so and there's always deals on it. But this one is particularly my custom one from Nacho Customs. It has my logo in it and the white topo design, which is pretty badass. So we'll plug it in and get it set up. 
And for the headset of choice, I always go with this in every setup build for budget. These are the Logitech 432s. They have a built-in mic, they sound really great, and they're lightweight and comfortable. For the price of like 35 bucks on Amazon, you can't go wrong with these. So let's test some games, shall we? So we're loaded into Shivery right now and it, we're loading into a game, so we're gonna check it out once we get in there. All right, 1v1 Arena. I'm gonna see if I can actually like win this, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! <laughs> I got him, bro, I got him, I got him, bro. Yeah, 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 now it's time to put the work in, bro. I still win. I'm feeling different, man. I built different, man. I built different. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun game, man. If you have never tried Shivery, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. CS2, man. Let's do this. All right, let's open it up. Get into it. CS2, baby. Sheesh. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this, man. Okay, I may or may not have a lot of knives, and if you've been in my streams before, you know that I have unboxed a lot on stream. Ah! No way! No way! Ah! Ah! No! So, yeah, this is my Bayonet Fade Quick Inventory little run-through. This is my M9 Bayonet Doppler. This is my Huntsman Doppler. All right, let's get into an actual little game though real quick. But let's do it. We are on, I believe we're on max settings. Let's just double check it all. Here's all the settings. They're all on high as you can see. Next up, let's test Minecraft. I'm doing my controls right now, but we're gonna kind of run through them real quick. Pretty much leave everything on like high and you know, Max frame, I'm gonna turn off V-Sync. All right, right now we're getting about 300 FPS in the loading screen or in the spawn area of high pixel. So we're gonna run into, um, where is it? We're gonna do Bed Wars. Um, Cause this is usually the the people that, you know, play Minecraft. They mainly either play like Bed Wars or something. So we're gonna lock in. All right, right now we're getting about a 1, thousand, 1500 FPS. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see that. 1500 FPS. So in the actual game, you know, we're seeing about 700 FPS right now uncapped and it just looks so insane. Insanely smooth, no hitches. The P I feel like the PVP is gonna be the same, so. I'm actually very surprised about how much FPS this is getting. I mean, I'm gonna suck, so. It just feels really smooth to the touch, like everything feels really good. I mean, I'm getting 800 FPS and I've already got a sweat on me, bro. Oh no, bro, I suck so bad. All right, but yeah, looking at it right now, I mean, a thousand FPS in the game, which is pretty insane. I mean, overall, this is performing insanely well. Actually, more than I thought. I thought maybe like, maybe 500 FPS, maybe, but like a thousand and 1500 if you look up. That's actually crazy, man, it's, it's nuts. And the last game on our list is Forza Horizon 5, so we're gonna check out what kind of frames you get on a racing game as well. Load it up and check it out. Damn, this thing looks awesome, dude. The graphics, so like, just like off the bat, the graphics look so insane in this game on this laptop, and I mean. Also, we're running 144 FPS, pretty much locked. Uh, any hitches on ultra settings. So, I mean, I would say this is a success. You could play this game pretty much anywhere, and you know, having uh, this much this much FPS on this game just makes it so much easier. After testing all the games in high settings, these were the FPSs. Shiv 2, we saw around 170 FPS. And CSGO, we saw around 250 FPS. I was honestly surprised with the Minecraft numbers because it was up in the 1,000 FPS range. Last but not least, we saw 150 FPS on Forza Horizon 5. Overall, I was pretty impressed. From the unboxing experience to pushing good frames, this laptop can do it all. Like and subscribe for more.